An underlying theme to a lot of this growth for Wyndham this year has been growth, growth and scale. Why is that important at this point in the cycle where we are with lodging as a global industry? Why is it important right now to be getting bigger and bigger? This industry is going to continue to consolidate. Uh, size has never mattered more when it comes to what a larger system can pro provide to its franchisees in terms of distribution, in terms of uh, uh, reservation costs, lowering those reservations costs, in terms of, of, of technology, in terms of what a larger system can do in terms of driving more revenue and at the same time driving down the cost of the franchisees. But most importantly, and you've heard me say this in any, every interview I've ever done, this is a time when loyalty has never mattered more and the larger we become and the larger our system becomes, the larger our award-winning Wyndham Rewards loyalty becomes uh, and that is very, very important in terms of driving direct business which our franchisees want to see coming, our owners want to see coming from our loyalty program. So size for us is, is very important, uh, growth is very important and continuing to grow and accelerate that growth is, is what all of our franchise sales team, development team, managed development team that are here this week at this, uh, this great lodging conference um, are all about. And, and it's, uh, it's been a really exciting uh, day, day and a half, and uh, we've got another day ahead. I know Wyndham has always put a high priority on loyalty, specifically in the past couple years as you've really beefed up that program. From your perspective, what do you think makes a customer loyal to a hotel? What are those elements that inspire loyalty, true loyalty? Service has never mattered more. Experience has never mattered more. Providing that great experience is, is, is critical. It's table stakes. It's, it's what this industry is, is built on. It's what we're all about, which is why we're so manically focused on improving uh, the consistency of our product and the quality of our product. And we've been working very, very hard to do that. Um, but for us, what our guests want, we've done a lot of research uh, when it comes to loyalty, what they've told us they want, what, what is almost broken in this industry is the, um, the promise of a free room night, the promise of that free vacation to that traveler that travels uh, very hard, be it, be it for, for business uh, or, or, or for uh, their, own, uh, their, their own reasons the hope and the aspiration of, of, of being able to, to travel for business and, and earn that, that free vacation is, what, uh, is what's been lost as so many programs have, uh, have been uh, devaluing uh, the value of what it takes to get on a, on a vacation. And so a few years ago, uh, as you know, we, we turned this, uh, this loyalty um, world upside down on its head and, uh, and re really reinvented, reimagined. Um, the way loyalty should, uh, should deliver for guests in terms of the promise of that free night. Um, and we believe that we've come up with a, a loyalty program that is the simplest and the most generous program of its kind in the industry and a, a program that delivers for our members in terms of getting them their dream of being able to, to, to take their family, to take themselves on, uh, on the vacations of a lifetime. And so we took all 8,000 of our hotels and distilled it down to one simple promise, and that's for 15,000 points. You could, you could vacation at any one of our 8,000 hotels with no blackout dates, uh, one tier. Our most aspirational hotels that used to take 60, 70, 80, 90,000 points for a free night are now available for, for 15,000 free points a night, be it our most aspirational Wyndham Grands or the thousands, the, the 20,000 new um, uh, vacation redemption options that we've added with our vacation rental properties from our sister property, Winter Vacation Rentals, or our timeshare product, our, uh, our Winter Vacation Ownership product. So we think we've, we've created something really unique. Um, it, is, uh, it, is, it is a program that is engaged with our owners and engaged in a way that um, uh, we've, we've never had a level. Uh, of engagement in terms of enrollment uh, across their front desk, but most importantly engaging with our consumers. 
So let's talk a little bit about global growth. Wyndham has a huge global footprint, bigger now since the Fen deal and, and new properties in Canada, like you mentioned. Um, talk a little bit about where you see the company going in terms of its brand footprint around the world. Places that you'd like to go, maybe where you aren't, or places where you'd like a little bit more penetration. There is going to be, as I said on stage today, still tremendous growth in China. Um, and across Asia. Uh, China right now has been our focus, continues to be. We have 1,300 hotels in China. Um, over half of the hotels in China today are, are not branded. Uh, we see that as a tremendous opportunity. There's, there's tremendous growth across Southeast Asia, which is the region that's grown actually uh, faster than any other region this year in, in particular. And so many, so many strong, uh, burgeoning uh, vacation and, and business destinations. Uh, for us. Um, Latin America, I mentioned a moment ago, with our acquisition of FEN, it's a, it's a, it's a very large middle class that uh, is looking for a branded, quality, consistent hotel experience and is an area that we now have a new management company uh, down there. And I guess, um, last but certainly not least, I believe there's tremendous potential in Europe. Uh, Europe has, uh, has had, had some very difficult years. Uh, we're seeing great growth in Europe uh, this year. And we think that uh, these coming years, um, growth will continue to accelerate as it, as it did for us this year. Our international portfolio has grown, uh, grown 30% over the last three years. It is, a, uh, it is a big, big piece of our story. And, uh, and, and, and we, uh, we, we couldn't be more excited um, with the teams that we have in, in, in all of our international regions to con continue to see growth. Uh, but those, uh, those markets are all, um, uh, all, all growing uh, and, and growing quite nicely for us. So a lot of potential even for such a large company. Tremendous potential. I couldn't be more excited. So let's take a 30,000 foot view of the world, if you will. Talk a little bit about something, something must concern you as we're hitting this point in the cycle. You hear about possible supply and demand ratio imbalances, maybe negative rev par growth after we've enjoyed such a prosperous period of I don't know how many months at this point. What concerns you moving forward? Well, I, I, you, you, you touch on a phenomenon. This is the longest running up cycle that this industry's ever seen. Um, and uh, a lot of folks a few years back thought that uh, that, that this industry had peaked. Um, it, was the, uh, it was the topic of many an industry cycle. Um, the fact remains that here we are uh, at the lodging conference in 2017. Demand uh, continues to outstrip supply. We heard that from this morning from, uh, it started off with uh, STR and uh, continued with CBRE and with our economists. Uh, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're seeing continued uh, moderation, um, especially in the place where, where we, we, we play in the, in the economy, in the mid-scale space, in terms of uh, supply and growth. Uh, and we think demand will continue to outstrip, uh, outstrip supply next year, which is why everybody in the industry is forecasting RevPAR growth for 2018 yet again. But to the extent that, um, that you're suggesting that we're at the peak, which uh, was suggested many a time, Steph, over the last few industry conferences, I think Dave Johnson today said it best uh, when asked that, that question on stage uh, uh, directly that uh, as an, he is a, a, a manager of so many of our brands, uh, he told our assembled 1,300 in the audience today that, that if that industry should ever slow down, as you're suggesting, which uh, nobody's seeing next year, that that is the period in his mind as the manager of brands where brands have never mattered more. And uh, Dave's been around this industry for, uh, for uh, probably not as long as I have the last 30 years. And yes, you're right, there are cycles, but in periods of, 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 of up cycles, we believe brands matter. But it was, uh, it was great to hear from Dave today that uh, if this end industry ever does uh, cycle down, that it's a, uh, it's, it's, it's a point in time where your brand matters more than it ever has. So if you could only pick one thing in 2018 that you were most looking forward to, what would it be? Maybe it's a particular hotel that's about to open or a deal that's about to be made, any one particular thing? I think it's just continued international growth. 
Uh, we are so excited right now with, uh, with our pipeline. We're so excited with uh, our pipeline never being stronger than it is right now. It is, uh, uh, it is just great to see growth coming in for us uh, from all areas of the world. Uh, and it's great to see uh, continued growth here in, uh, in the United States of America. Our domestic pipeline in the uh, third quarter, as we just re reported last week, if you had, uh, had listened to our earnings call, um, was up 18%. Uh, and to, to, to look at that type of growth and, and see, as we saw from the statistics today, still how much opportunity and room there is to grow from a supply and demand standpoint in the economy space and the mid-scale space that we play in is, uh, is really, really exciting. That's a great note to end on. Thanks for joining us, Jeff. You're very welcome.